Hi guys! So, welcome to a Stitchly Creations vlog. Today is going to be a busy day. Um, my main goal is to clean up my crafting area because it's it's bad, guys. Like, I, I'm feeling super overwhelmed with it. And um, it's just a mess. So, we're going to try to clean off some shells, get the yarn put away, and then try to store the projects that I have going on better. But yeah, but first, we have a couple packages. Let's open those up. Here is the first package. This is from Joanne. And it does not have yarn. Surprisingly, I got a package for my business that doesn't have yarn in it. then. It's a little weird. You ready? I, I don't love all these little bumps on it. That's a little weird. But yeah. What should we name her? Alicia? Betty? Carmen? What? She's gorgeous. And has a tiny head. back there. We'll see how many times I freak out thinking somebody's looking at me. Here it is. Let's open it up. I cannot wait to play with this. I definitely have to clean up before I can play with it and I want to do a whole nother video on it. But... Everything I'm hoping for. I was able to get, it's better, it's supposed to be the one with 48, um, whatever they're called, 48. And I'm really, really, really excited about this one. I was able to get it for like $24 instead of like 56. So I'm really excited. But we're gonna put this to the side for now and we're gonna clean up a mess. Here is the current state of my crafting area. So we have a box here that needs to be put away in the attic. This shelf needs to be cleaned off and that's where I want to put all the projects I'm working on. And then over here I have projects that are half finished. This is a bag that just needs the strap done. This is going to be another um, Summer Breeze cardigan and this is a blanket pattern I'm working on. This. I don't know, I'll probably end up frogging that. This is another oversized cardigan that I'm working on. And then I've got like a hexagon shirt in here and just random things, yarn that needs to be put away. This is um, a summer shirt that I am pattern testing. Here we have tons of my bucket hats, my uh, scrunchies, my um, bandanas. Those are all in there. And there's Betty Carmen Belinda. Oh, maybe she's a Belinda. I don't know. But here is what we're going to work on first is this shelf. I was taking, it was full, completely full of scrap yarn, which I ended up taking most of the scrap yarn and turning it into a scrap rug. That's currently in the washer right now. I'll show that to you guys later. But yeah, this is what we're going to work on right this second. Here we are working on this shelf. Okay, so first we're going to clean up all of the scrap yarn. I'm going to leave scrap yarn on the bottom here and then up top I'm going to use that to put all of my new yarn.
so now we're gonna work on getting um, the new yarn that we have under the shelves. So I have all of these Big Twist chunky yarns. They'll be staying up there. Um, this bag is all from Hobby Lobby. Um, you can, if you want to see exactly what's in it, I did a yarn haul video uh, not that long ago. Okay, so I want to put yarns that are similar together. So this Yarn Bee Alpaca Twist, I actually have a bunch of because I bought a bunch more. And debating if I can move these down. I don't know. Will they stack? Maybe. Yeah, so the yarn, oh, those will fit. Okay. So next we'll do, if we could do them like this. We'll do all the same colors together. We're just trying to maximize space and be able to fit more. Alpaca twist, just a different color. Okay, these ones I might lay down because I don't have as many. scrap yarn before. So I have these three left, but I have a shelf over here that's already full of similar yarn. So I think we're just going to squish it in here as best we can. All right. Yay. And that was just left over from there. Now we have to see if we can fit this somewhere. I have a lot of the Big Twist yarn, which usually I put all my Big Twist yarn on here, but the shelf is pretty full, especially with the colors that I have. So I think I'm gonna try to put them up here and we'll see how they fit. This is cotton yarn, cotton yarn projects that need to be either finished or frogged. We have cotton grady squares in here. So we're gonna fit, we're gonna try to fit some of my cotton yarn that I bought in there from the bag. So I've got all of these that I'm just gonna throw in there. Love all of these colors. But I am using them for like three different projects. So I don't know where I want to try to put them right now. So I'm going to attempt to put up my big twist yarn. I don't know how much I will be able to fit. So I got those four in. Six. Six. I can count, I swear. But I have another five in the white.
finished. And this looks much, much better. So I have this one, which I am using. I bought two of these. One of them is being used. We're just gonna, we can set that right there. It will fit right in there. Okay, for all of these, I'm not quite sure where I wanna put these because like I said, a lot of them are being used for projects, so they might just have to sit for a little bit longer. Hey guys, so we were able to get everything all cleaned up and it looks so much better now. I can actually get some work done. I'm working on my um, Summer Breeze oversized cardigan. I need to finish this like today, which obviously that's not going to happen because it's as far as we've gotten, but I need to get this done and we're going to work on the pattern test. But thank you guys for spending this time cleaning up my craft area with me and here's hoping that it never gets that messy again. All right guys, thank you so much. Bye.